Hello everyone and welcome back to what's left of my life in 118 scale. This week I'm super excited to show you my new Hunter automotive alignment tool that I've received. We're going to talk about this also and I'm going to answer a lot of your questions you guys have been asking me on my different social. So let's get on to it. So let's do it. So let's jump right into it. Okay, let's do this. So before we start unboxing these, uh, let's talk a little bit about Hunter. Hunter is a, an American company that specializes in automotive alignment tools. And you can basically see these equipment in almost every garage in North America. So at one point in 2018, I believe, if I remember correctly, uh, they decided to team up with a, another American company that's named Speccast. And Speccast is a diecast company that specializes in farm equipment of all scale for promotional use. So they do very limited productions. And this kit was produced at around 300 units. So pretty rare. So when they released this kit, it sold like hotcakes instantaneously. And here in Canada, it was very difficult to have because of the shipping price was way too high. So it's very rare in Canada. So my friend called me and he's saying, you know, I'm downsizing my collection. Would you be interested in having this kit? And I looked at this kit for a long time and I, there was no option. I had to say yes. So I bought it and here we go. We're going to unbox it starting with box number one. So the box number one, we have the Hawkeye Elite alignment system, you know. There you go, with the adjustable laser height. The wheels don't turn, but it's made out of metal. These are fixed. You have the nice screen here. So that's the first one. The second item on our list is the lift, the RX-12 lift rack. Whoops. So there's the lift. There you go. Everything is articulated. And this little guy goes in front right here. So, you know what? Let's grab a die cast car and see if it fits. Let's see with the car. Woo! That's, okay, I forgot to lock it in place. Hold on. special locks here that needs to be engaged there you go so that's going to be stable well it doesn't seem to work hold on oh uh, so these are the locks for the lift they seems they seem to collapse on their own weight I'll have to figure something out later because it won't hold. And to be honest, when I put the car on the lift, the scale seems to be a little bit off, but not too much. All right, so there's the lift. There's the uh, laser alignment tool in front. Let's move on to the next one. The next item will be the Road Force Elite Wheel Balancer. Let's check it out. Hmm. Yeah, that wheel needs balancing. 
I wonder if we can remove the wheel. Okay, I won't force it because I... There you go. Pretty cool. Goes with the kit right there. The last item on this kit will be the Revolution Tire Changer. So it's an automatic tire changing machine. Let's check it out. There you go. Oh. Tire spins. That's pretty cool. You can adjust the machine. But my friend told me that there was a, a loose part here. It doesn't work quite well. Oh, it seems to work. So I'll have to check it out later. Got this guy here. You can push it down a bit, I think. No. All right, so it's cool. So before we move on to the uh, next unboxing, uh, let's answer some of your questions. The first one that I've received a lot on my different social and uh, on my uh, email address is, when are you gonna build a new diorama? Because it's been a while. Uh, the answer to that is very simple. Uh, as you can see, in the background late august this year i had a big problem with the waste pipe in my plumbing so unfortunately i have to rebuild the entire basement of my house to be honest it's more important for me to do that for uh, the health and safety of my family uh, so all diorama building has been put on hold for the moment I'm currently working on two giant dioramas that I haven't told you yet about. Uh, two new clients that I have. Um, these projects are still top secret, but my clients were very comprehensive of my situation and uh, there will be some delays. My goal is to restart the whole diorama building process in January of 2024. The good news about all this renovation is that this room here uh, which used to be the sewing room of my girlfriend will become uh, my workshop so i'm gonna build a wall and have a workshop so that's it for that so one of the other questions that i uh, want to answer today uh, a lot of you have been reaching out to me either on instagram facebook or uh, with my email address because uh, you want me to build you a diorama okay so uh, the first thing is uh, building dioramas takes a lot of time and YouTube is not my full-time job. I have a full-time job that feeds my family and pays for all of this. So that's my priority. So I can't do like four dioramas at the time. And so for now, I have only two clients that I have to build them dioramas for. So when I'm ready to take new commissions, I'll let you know. So while we're doing this, we're going to unbox this little guy here. So this toolkit I got, it's from GMP. I got from another friend of mine. He sold it to me very cheap. And, you know, Kendall is not my favorite brand. You know, it's not sponsored, but uh, I thought that the toolkit looks cool and will go well with my... Uh, my hunter kit so uh, let's let's unbox this and by the way i was today old when i discovered that gmp is in fact look at this gmp is in fact a uh, subsidiary of green light so i didn't know that it's made by green light we're gonna start with the engine That's pretty cool. It's all plastic, but uh, you know, looks looks great. The next item is the toolbox. This one is all metal. It's pretty basic, honestly. There's nothing much there, but 
you know, it's to scale, it, it fits, it's nice. Put it there. We have the top cabinet for the tool chest. That's pretty cool also. We have one of two uh, car battery charger. Looks pretty nice. Wheel, the wheel turns, yeah. We have some welding tanks and this little guy. That's awesome. Look cool. We have another car battery charging tool. Yeah, looks good. Oh no, it's a I think it's a welding. Yeah, it's a welding tool. Yeah, that's cool. Sorry about that. We have the compressor, which is metal and plastic. With the hose. There we go. And finally, all the way back here, we have a car battery. It's all metal, so we can chart that battery to go in the Porsche. One of the questions that I've been asked in the past is, how do you create your diorama? How do you come up with inspiration to create your diorama? Well, the first thing that I will do is I will, let's, let's use this for an example. I'll, I'll take the car. I have to figure out the overall size of everything. So I will place all the tools. Um, by the way, this, uh, this base here is 24 inches uh, wide by 60 inches long so it's a good reference and clearly we see that you know if I want to place everything I am going to need at least 24 inches wide for the diorama and so I think that 24 by well, 24 by 24, yeah, could could fit for that particular diorama. So after establishing the uh, the overall dimension, I will think about the colors. So everything here is uh, red, white, and black. So I think uh, because that's uh, that's something I want to build for this particular toolkit. I will probably build walls that'll be uh, basically white with a red stripe and a black bottom. The next thing I'll have to figure out is the point of view that I want. So I think that if I keep this wall here open, we can get a pretty good view of what's going on in the garage. Uh, maybe relocate some of the tools better fit yeah that's look that looks pretty cool so this side of the di diorama will be open and this side will have a garage door that fits with the uh, lift and we're gonna have the back wall there the next thing will be to figure out the height of all of this and usually i will do like hmm, 10 inches tall will be slightly too small. So maybe I'll go with 
12 inches tall for this one to uh, give the clearance for the lift. Let's see if the car can back out of it. Oh, oh, oh my front bumper. Oh. <laughs> well, <laughs> these lowered car, man. These things were not built for that kind of car. That's all right. So there it is. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye.